Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can make a vertical diagonal flying machine. This is a response to Mumble Jumbo's video from last week where I asked people to show him such a design. So I got actually three different versions, they're all slightly different. So this is the first one. This works in all directions. Because I got some directional designs which use fewer blocks than this. Then here's a second design which works slightly different. By the way, those are two-way flying machines, so you can also send them back. And then I also got a directional design, which is the most compact one over here. But it only works going west and going south. So there's this one here. So this only uses four sticky pistons, four observers and five slime blocks. Alright. Yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you how to build those three designs. So we'll start with the smallest one first, the directional one. So you want two observers like this, pointing to slime blocks, then put a sticky piston on top, facing that direction, then a downward sticky piston, then here we need an upward sticky piston and a slime block pointing, uh, a piston pointing into the slime block. Then two slime blocks on top, actually we need another one here, observer pointing into the sticky piston, and then an observer powering this sticky piston. Alright, um, yeah, so you can stop the machine just by placing non movable blocks. So you can go up diagonal like this, and then around the last one, place two blocks like so, and then remove that one. You can stop it. Right here, same deal. So gonna launch the machine by placing the block here. And here you can send them back. Alright, now to show you the non-directional machine, because this one, as I said, only works going west and south. Uh, the non-directional machine is pretty much the same, we just need to work with the update order a bit more. Okay, again we need two observers, then slime blocks. The piston setup is the same, it also looks like this. Then again, two slime blocks and observer pointing into it. But if you would uh, power this sticky piston now with this observer, then the update order is wrong. So generally, in a slime block or a flying machine, the observer that is furthest away from the point the structure is pushed would update first. But as you can see here, if you, if you follow the path, you have one, two slime blocks and then the observer, the three. And yeah, what's important is that we um, power this downwards facing sticky piston first. But here we have also one, two, three observer powering this sticky piston as well. So depending on direction, either that observer or this one would update first. So in order to avoid those issues, just add two more slime blocks like this and add the observer here. And this way we can make it non-directional. I tried to come up with a more compact design, but <laughs> didn't find one that wouldn't have those issues. Um, what also wouldn't work is if you would power the sticky piston directly here with the observer, this would be fine with the update order, but we also QC power the piston next to it. So that's why this is not an option. All right, so back to that version. Yeah, this is the non-directional design with the correct update order. And you can also, you can actually launch it by either acting this observer or the one next to it. Alright, then also got another design which is slightly different. Um, so here we need piston and the slime block, sticky piston here, another slime block there, then another slime block here, downwards facing observer there. And then we go over like this and add another sticky piston here. I just need to add observers, so we need one pointing into the slime block. Another one pointing into this slime block. Then we need to power this one here with the observer. And then last observer powering the slime block. Um, this machine is also non-directional, works in every direction. And you can launch it by activating this piston here. Uh, yeah, why is this machine slightly different? So the first design I showed you actually uh, can also fly straight. 
Wait, I have to launch it here. So if I would place blocks to restrict the flying machine path, it can actually fly straight. But this is kind of a bit harder to stop this machine, but this one is kind of a strict vertical diagonal flying machine. So you can actually stop this machine by placing a single block if you do it at the right time. Yeah, as you can see, one block can stop this uh, diagonal machine. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.